Hey guys, it's me, Tom, from uh, Two Journey Overland, and we're here at the home base. Uh, we got a couple projects we're working on. You guys recognize our journey, our little square back camper, which is uh, come along really well. We've got our, uh, well, we've got her tweaked out pretty good. So, uh, you know, we were up at Manistee uh, National Forest up in northern Michigan, and you guys know how that is when you come back. You have a great, great weekend like we did, and come back and now, now the cleaning up and getting things put together, getting things back together kind of comes in. But one thing I want to talk to you about today is I've got a couple projects going, and they're going on pretty well. I've been working on them for a couple of days here. Uh, I built a box, nice wooden box with the aluminum frame. Uh, trim around it. It's going to be kind of sturdy. It's going to set up top of the uh, camper. I got me a 25 gallon water tank from Amazon. This came in, uh, actually came in today. And it fits inside the box and we're going to have that sit up on top of uh, our journey just so that uh, we've got fresh water. Here it's going to sit right up in that uh, Yakima cage on top and uh, it's going to be gravity. I'm going to put a pump on it, I don't think. Uh, I think it'd be okay without a pump, so we're going to see how that works. It's going to be gravity flow, but 25 gallons is going to help us out because what we usually we usually run is the uh, four gallon roto packs, and we found out over uh, New Year or Mem New Year's over Memorial Day holidays that it just wasn't quite enough. So we're going to put that on top of uh, the. Uh, square back get that squared away and that should be complete here pretty soon so I'll give you a uh, rundown on the completion the other thing that uh, we did is I did Amy <laughs> I kind of got the somewhat thumbs up bought another ice co this time I got a JP 40 and uh, I can just I'm gonna say it I, I use my own money to buy it I got a, a JP 50 in uh, baby girl you guys know uh, she's got here in the back this is the jp50 big boy uh pretty good size uh, uh fridge that works outstanding i mean it works really well so if that 40 works as well as this 50 it's going to be a pretty good pretty good thing so uh it comes with a cover i'll do a uh, uh i don't like to do them you guys know what things look like when you put them in a when you open up a box so but we'll do that anyway. We'll open up a box here and uh, give you a little insight on that. Okay, guys, we're going to try this unveiling here for this uh, ice co. Uh, we have had the Dometic. I got a Dometic CFX40, CFX40, and uh, I paid for that too. There's nothing that I have that that uh, nobody sponsored it for me or give it to me or anything like that. So. Everything I talked about or I talk about on the channel is something that I uh, pay for out of my pocket. So I don't have, there's no loyalty to any product except for the fact that it's uh, whether it's good or not. You know, that's what I try to present to you is uh, the stuff I use when I camp, Amy and I, for this hobby that I've got, this overlanding hobby, is. Uh, straight up the information you know either it works or it doesn't work and uh, I'm not one for to mix words or to say something that's that's not true uh, so I wanted to let you know that first and foremost uh, and here it is uh, the ice cold 40 uh, JP40, as a matter of fact, and we'll get her cut open. And it's packed really well. As you can tell, it's uh, stuck in there pretty good. Got a bunch of uh, cardboard pieces that hold it in there. Uh, of course, I got off of Amazon. I think the Amazon driver and I are, are really good buds, so I like to uh, keep him employed and have make sure he's got plenty of work to do. So we did that. We've come from Amazon. Uh, pretty good price point on it. 
you know, for, you look at some of them and some of them are really spendy. Uh, this was, I think came in, I'd have to look to be sure, somewhere around five, five something for it. Uh, not a bad price. I did some research and looked around. And the reason I went with uh, Ice Co again, <clears throat> excuse me, is like I said, uh, I've got one in, in Baby Girl, and man, it's fantastic. It works works really well. So you can see it's uh, put together well. There's plastic covering it, so it's covered up pretty decently. And uh, there you have it. Uh, the 40 just a little bit smaller in, in contour to, to the 50. It's just small, uh, shorter. I think the width is the same. The height is what changes. It makes the difference to put, uh, put your beverages and stuff in. So that, that's pretty neat. A uh, latch on the, uh, the, you know, and the other thing that I like about Iceco is they're not cheap. I mean, they come out with a good product. Uh, you get this, this uh, cooling, warmer uh, blanket that goes over it. This cooling case that goes over it helps keep the fridge cool when it's uh, a gazillion, gazillion degrees out there. The other thing I like about it is it's really this compressor is warranty for five years. And that's the thing that I like. I mean, you're going to buy something, you want it to last, especially in this overlanding deal where you're out in the middle of nowhere or you're out and about and you need uh, stuff to last. And this uh, Ice Co, it comes a JP30, JP40, JP50, this particular model. And it it's really nice. Uh, it comes with, uh, you got your fridge, insulated protective cover, six foot 110 volt AC wall outlet cable, wire basket, eight foot cable here, for your DC cigar lighter plug. This is an extension cable that comes with it that uh, gives you more distance. So if you want to take it out, uh, picnic or what have you, set it out by the Jeep or set it out by your rig, what you can do that with this 12 foot, uh, or I'm sorry, eight foot 12 volt adapter. Then you got a 12 foot cigarette extension cable right here. Uh, this is the main cable or main uh, power source. And this is that cable I was talking about, the 12 foot uh, cigarette extension cable you can use. Uh, the dimensions on this <clears throat> is on the 40 that I've got is 23.1 by 13.8 by 17.6. Uh, weighs 38.8 pounds. Storage volume is 42 quarts. And it's kind of the mid-range between the 30 and the 50. Uh, voltage, again, DC 1224 volt at uh, AC 110, 120 volt at 60 uh, uh, HZ. Refrigerant, R5. 13A temperature range minus 18 degrees to or zero to 50 zero to 50 that 18 to 10 was cellulose so it comes with the handles on it for it then come on it it comes for the um, operation here as you can see really easy uh, work uh, easy uh, friendly to use user friendly is what I was looking for just kind of a basic pad but it lights up really nice uh, you fire it up. There's also a light inside so you can kind of see what what's going on inside when you go to dig through that for for stuff in the evening uh, When it's dark out when the campfire's going my favorite time But yeah, that's it there. You got two different modes. You got a max mode and an eco mode on it You can switch from sailors to Fahrenheit triple battery protection Basically, standby mode is the A and B button in the same time for three seconds to enter the battery protection level setting menu. The short press the C or D button to set the corresponding battery protection. Basically, what it boils down to is got an eco mode, different modes, so that you won't drain your battery down, uh, your vehicle battery, if that's, if, if that's what you're running off of. But yeah, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's really nice. Uh, the warranty and return policy is what I like. 30 days refund guaranteed upon receiving five year warranty on a compressor, one year warranty for other parts and accessories. Uh, one thing too, uh, doing our research is uh, on the reviews, I found that people, uh, customer service is good. 
really good with this company and uh, people have talked about uh, their unit breaking or something happening on it and uh, customer service got right back to them even though even at one point I think Amazon uh, didn't honor uh, something with the fridge on one of the individuals who purchased it and uh, ice, he got a hold of Iceco and Iceco said yeah no problem we'll take care of it so there I've got that uh, it's another box. This has probably got all your cords and stuff in it uh, that I talked about. Your power cord, your extension, your 12 foot extension cord, so you can run it out. And probably got your handles and stuff like that that go on it. Uh, see your nice basket here. Comes out. Pretty decent basket. What I like about it is it's got the small triangular squares on the bottom. Uh, trust me, when you see your cores light or your summer shanty go through the bottom and hit the floor that's not a good sign so this is real tight so you're not going to lose anything through that uh, as far as drinks or food or anything goes but no uh again like i said n no promotion for anybody but uh, i will say this we've had a domestic i ran a domestic for about three years and uh i'm not real happy with it matter of fact it's in the basement uh it's on the Michiana garage sale listing yeah so uh, there's nothing wrong with it I'm not trying to pawn it off on anybody but it does it it only freezes uh, you can't uh, set it I, I changed the uh, uh, thermometer in it uh, it's a weird name I can't remember the name that I purchased and took it apart changed that in order to think well that's going to help it but it's it's, it doesn't it doesn't do what we do. I don't need a freezer out there. I just need a fridge to keep my food and stuff uh, good for the long term of being out there. So I can say that for a fact that the Dometic, uh, for the price point, uh, what you pay for that, and uh, their customer service. It was out at uh, Overland East, and we went to their tent and talked to one of their reps there and told them what the issue was with it. and. And oh, no problem. Just, you know, hey, get the serial number, send it in. I'll make sure that somebody takes care of it. Tell them so and so, you know, told you. Okay. And no. So, uh, straight up forward, I've got two of these. And if this one ever breaks again or that one ever breaks again in the Jeep, then I'll get another one because I'm done with uh, Dometic. So, there you have it, guys. We've got the two projects going. And once we get this put in, uh, uh, our journey is going to go in the back of the camper. Once we get it put in there, then we'll give you some uh, a little br briefing on how it fits in there and what we're going to use it for there. So there you go. Hope you had a great uh, Memorial Day weekend. It's kind of the past. The week just flew by for me and, and doing these projects and trying to get things squared away here at home. So hope you had a good one, and I'll have some stuff up for you here in a, sh in a short time. And like we say, we'll talk to you later.